Yo guys, Blaze 100 here. Today we are going to be doing Chapter 3 of RWBY Black's Adventure Visual Novel, Training and Shadow Grim. Let's see, Blaze 900. Thank you and enjoy the story. A few days later. Hurry up! I don't have all day. Oh, Blake! Just a, just a second, Blake. I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better, Blake. Yeah, I know. Now seriously, get your stuff and let's get going. I don't have all day. Alright, calm down, Blake. I mean, I did save your life and all. You can show me at least a little respect. I know! I just have a tight schedule I'm running on, Blues 900. <laughs> Alright, I'm all done. Let's go, Blake. Finally. We walk out of my room downstairs to the dining hall and out into the courtyard to begin your new training. Professor Ozpin left me in charge of your training. Okay. Let's see if you can control that right hand of yours, Blues 900. What I want you to do is to close your eyes and focus on your power from your right hand. Go ahead. You close your eyes and begin to focus on your skull on your right hand. It starts to glow a bright red color. It's then followed by a bright flash of light. The light fades revealing a mysterious creature in a shape of a sphere to you in your right hand. What's that, Place 900? Who are you and what are you? Hello, Master. I'm glad to see that you're alive. I thought that fall you which you have eh, that fall you would surely have died. Have died. Nope, I'm alive. Vector. Master? Just who are you? Who are you is a better question, Master. Do you remember what happened? Why you fell from this guy? No, I can't remember what happened. That fall must have erased your memory, but left you unconscious in that forest. Blake just stares in amazement and shock of what is happening. Yeah, I don't blame you, Blake. Look, Master, my name is Vector. I'm your guardian. I've been protecting you for a very long time, Master. I, I do it from within that scar of yours on your right hand. I know you must have many questions for me, Master. Yes, I do. What are you? What are you? Is my first question, Vector. Vector, I mean. I am a special form of dark matter that has become sentient and living. I am able to create and form anything I want with this dark matter magic I have from weapon. I have from weapons to inan inanimate objects. That's pretty awesome. Are you the one who saved me from that grim creature, Victor? Vector? I cannot get his name right. Yes, I am the one who formed that black handgun you were using to kill that creature. Unfortunately, I can only use my power for a certain amount of time. That's why I am di disintegrated after you shot the gun monk. The gun master. Okay, I see, Vector. So, so can I summon you whenever I want to then? Yes, you can, Master. You just have to focus your energy into your right hand and think about something, and it will form from itself into an object or, or a weapon. Note this, though, Master. The more complex the object or weapon is, the more difficult it is for me to hold its form for a long time. That's awesome. Duly noted. Um, Flux 900, you may want to take a look at this. What is it, Blake? You see these three shadow creatures attacking a group of civilians of Vel. It looks like they're they're looking for something. Come on, Flux 900. Blake, you stay here. I'll check it out. I don't you want I don't want you getting hurt again, Blake. But you can follow behind me. But let me take the lead of this, okay? Okay. You're the one with the superpowers, anyway. Go ahead, Master. You give Blake a frown expression on your face. You and Blake quickly head on over to where the action is. Find him! I want his powers! He here so he's here somewhere! Keep looking! Right away, sir! What do we do, Fliss and 100? Vector, what are those creatures? They're Shadow Grim. They want nothing but you dead, Fliss 100. They want your power so they can do evil things to the universe. They're able to teleport long distances and short distances. Mean and vicious those creatures are. Almost human like an appearance, Master. It would be best if you avoided them, Master. That would be my decision to make, not yours, Vector. If you if you do go out there, Flea 900, be careful. I'll be fine, now that I have my powers under control. Now the question is, should I attack them? Stay hidden and wait for them to pass. Attack the Grim Elite Dual Swords. Oh, I don't know. Should I attack them? I feel like if I attack them, I'm going to get myself hurt. I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to stay hidden and wait for them to pass. You wait for the Grim Elites to pass. That was a close one. I agree. I don't think you're ready to face those creatures at 3900. I think you're right. We should head back to the Academy to tell the others, Blake. It's best we don't do this alone. Good idea. 
You quickly head back to the academy to tell the others about what you saw and heard. End of chapter 3. Yay! So chapter 3 was pretty awesome. I mean, I really enjoy that we get to make choices in this game. You know, that that's always a great thing in visual novels. And, you know, I'm if any of you are disappointed that I did not go and attack them, I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I think it would have been a bad thing if I had tried. So, yeah. Maybe I'll go back and try that in another time. You know, maybe, I, I don't know yet. But anyway, guys, that's the end of Chapter 3. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really liking this. I'm going to be doing Chapter 4 pretty soon, actually. And, yeah. I'm going to try to make this Let's Play decently fast. I know the second game is coming, so I definitely want to play that as soon as it gets released. And so forth and so on. So, make sure to like, comment, tell me some of your opinions, thoughts on the game. Please go download this yourself. And make sure to share my videos, please. As a small YouTuber, it helps me a lot. And I will catch all of you guys later. See ya.